Buckeye Empire film session number four. Yes, this is already week four. We're playing the UAB Blazers. I'm not sure why they call themselves a Blazers, as all I can think about is a sport coat when their logo is a dragon. The Big Ten looked pretty pathetic again this week with Wisconsin barely squeaking out a win against Utah State. Michigan State dropping it to Notre Dame and trying to make them relevant again in the football world. And us giving up almost as many yards to a guy named Bigelow as we did against Tim Biakabatuka. A lot happened over the weekend with Virginia Tech losing to Pitt, who I was hoping would not win a game the entire season so we could really shut Mark May up and never have to hear from him again. Also, with Michigan State dropping it to Notre Dame, that just means that we're going to have to hear Lou Holtz talk about Notre Dame even more than he already does every single week on College Game Day. Not to mention USC losing to Stanford. I'm not exactly a USC fan by any means, but I definitely don't want to see Alabama and LSU at the top of rankings again. Let's face it, if they both end up in the national title game after already playing in the regular season, I'm more likely to watch a political ad campaign than to watch that national championship game again. Speaking of politics, here at the Empire, we've set it straight on who we're voting for in 2012. Barack? Nope. Mitt? Nope. Herbs. You heard it here first, Herbs 2012. Personally, the most surprising thing that happened in politics for me was that a hidden video of Mitt Romney was found and it didn't involve a hooker. So in the spirit of all of politics, I've decided, yes, to devote an entire section of my film session, this one here, week four, UAB, to politics. So I give you now the political section of Buckeye Empire Film Session. Pretty stellar reporting, right? Now, back to Arkansas. I don't know if they're trying to become the Michigan of 2007, but I did pick them this week, so hopefully their quarterback's rant about their team quitting will actually pay off more than the normal Jay Cutler spouting off about something and just ending up losing. On to my weekly section about Michigan. Yeah, there's a lot of trash talk because you guys stomped UMass after barely beating Air Force, after getting your teeth kicked in by Alabama. But listen, the next time that somebody wants to tell me that we're bowl ineligible, you know what I'll have to say? I'd rather not play in a bowl because we're ineligible than not play in one like we suck, like you did in 2009. But in all honesty, go out, beat Notre Dame, please win the rest of your games so that you can roll into the shoe the Saturday after Thanksgiving and we can really settle this. On to the UAB Dragons, I'm going to call them that. That's what their logo is. That's what their mascot is. If they wanted to be a blazer, they could dress somebody up in a suit, and then they could be blazers. Despite what you may think, I do actually do a lot of research here for the film session, and UAB may have what I can only describe as the shortest Wikipedia page in history for an FBS school, probably because they started playing football in 1991. Now, I can't talk a lot of shit about a team that's only been around for like 20 or so years. As far as wins and losses, obviously that's kind of a difficult situation. Uh, you're not going to have a whole lot of wins there in your first 20 years. What I can say is that I hope our offense gets up to a little better start than it has here in the previous couple games, especially in the first quarter. I mean, really, we're all kind of tired of waiting for the second quarter. I don't know about everyone else, but I didn't really plan on getting my uh, yearly tradition Ohio State gray hairs in quite yet. Uh, I'm 27. I don't really feel like having this gray hair. I thought it was for my job, but now I'm pretty sure it's from the Buckeyes. I know we're all hoping that the defense picks it up. I mean, let's face it, we're basically wrapping it up like we want to be on the Maury Povich show. But seriously, we can only hope that the entire defense takes a page out of John Simon's book, plays through some adversity, goes out there, and shuts UAB out. We need this last game before Big Ten play to start looking good. We need the offense clicking a little bit better in the first quarter. We need the defense playing a lot better. And as for the rest of the conference, you should think about doing the same. Go out there, get your non-conference wins, come into Big Ten play, get the hell kicked out of you by Herb's Bucks. Embrace the hate. Quarterback's rant goes off a little bit better. All right, shit. So let's just see the Buckeyes take a.
So let's just take. Er, now on to my weekly sec 